like an oasis of calm in the middle of chaos, Vernon's Caltire Place became a place of sanctuary for more than 2,200 people evacuated from local wildfires. And at the backbone of the operation were numerous volunteers. The City of Vernon activated its ESS reception center on Thursday, August the 17th. Our volunteers were here that afternoon. And when I walked in the building at 515, we had a whole uh, camp of people here ready to go and to receive evacuees. Started receiving evacuees from the central Okanagan uh, just after 11 o'clock that night. The reception center continued to receive folks until after two o'clock in the morning. Uh, we still had some volunteers here at about 3.30, continuing to get ready uh, because we knew that uh, the numbers were going to increase rapidly the next morning. We were open and operating at 7 o'clock, so it was just a few hours break between. When you, when you look around the room, this is a sort of a testament to the greater community of Vernon. When we've got retirees, we've got students, we've got business owners, we've got professionals that are all taking time out from their own personal lives and their own personal families to work for the greater good of the community. So it's a huge testament to the 68 volunteers that are on the ground here, that they're putting a pause on their lives to make sure that we're making an impact for the bigger community. Now, I imagine when the people come in here, this is, this is like an oasis in the middle of the flames, a safe place. We hope so. That that's definitely the intention, and that's what we we train for. Is you know we've got everybody with a diverse set of skills that we're able to apply and implement when um, our evacuees come in here, and so we're hoping that we're able to provide a little bit of calm. And as what we said is probably one of the worst days of some people's lives. And how is it uh, emotionally for you to see this? Like this is obviously a lot. People are are very stressed out. A lot of stuff going on. How, how does that impact you as a a witness to all this? Um, it's, you definitely have a lot of empathy. Um, you, you try and err on the side of empathy, not sympathy. And um, yeah, I'm a crier, so there's been a lot of tears this week, for sure. You hear a, a lot of stories, and everybody's got a unique story. And you try to balance that with trying to make sure they're getting the services that they need in a timely manner. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hatchie, in Vernon.